Et on repasse donc en français pour parler d'un autre... Back to French to speak about another recent event in which we took part. You too, I believe, Jean-Emmanuel and Tom. You were lucky in going to Japan to take part in the French tech tour. Tell us more about this event, which is so different. Events linked to internet governance in which we take part sometimes, and on which we have been able to talk a lot of at the various focus technology conferences. We spoke about this together, and I know you came back impressed. You met a lot of interesting people, and you discovered the world. Where? Globalization of addresses is almost a daily issue. We tend to forget it in this part of the world. But there are parts of the world where it's a real, constant, everyday problem. And I believe that Japan is such a place. Maybe I could start with you, Jean-Emmanuel. Explain to us what type of promotional activities OP3FT has been doing with Asia. Thank you, Stefan. I went to Tokyo, Japan, with Tom to promote Forgan's technology. It wasn't the first nor the last time that OP3FT went or will be going to Asia. Let me remind you that at FTC1, Jérôme Delacroix, who is here in the room somewhere, spoke about a mission to meet uh, players from the internet ecosystem in China. More recently, oh, Romuel, my colleague, went to Hong Kong to meet, well, to an international inter conference, the International Trademark Association. It's a worldwide event bringing together a good portion of brand holders interested in new technologies and everything that could impact brand promotional exercises. More recently, Stefan with Romualdo, who will be speaking tomorrow, as a matter of fact, and will speak and tell you much more than I can, you spoke at the Congress on Brand Protection, organized by HKISA, the Hong Kong International Arbitration Center. That's it. Thank you, Tom. Co-organized by Asian Domain Name Dispute Resolution Center. For those who were here at the previous conference, it is an approved arbitration center by OP3FT for carrying out UDRPF procedures. Let me remind you that this procedure enables brands to handle disputes with respect to registration of four against addresses, and if a brand's owner has been cyber-squatted, if their brand has been used in a four against address in bad faith, they may call upon this procedure, the UDRP. I won't get into the details because I'm not qualified. But all of this to tell you, it wasn't our first experience in OP3FT in Asia, Japan. As you said, Stefan, I'd like to come back to all the things that struck us in Japan. But Tom, I will let you speak about logistics behind this very special mission. Because we received uh, support from someone to organize that mission. Oui, uh, merci. Thank you, Jean Emmanuel. To come back to what you said earlier, Stefan. We started hearing about activities of the French Tech Tour last uh, summer. It was a meeting on internet governance, a small meeting that was held in Paris. Fadish, the Director General of ICANN, took part. And it was held at Cap Digital. Now, Cap Digital, they were promoting at the time 
des French Tech Tours. Where they invite companies and startups in the field of new technologies to take part in events in different parts of around the world. Initially, well, the program has been around for some years now, mainly in the Silicon Valley in the U.S. of A. And now they've opened up chapters in Japan and uh, elsewhere. And the head of the French Tech Tour in Japan will tell us more about that in detail later on. So we found it was an interesting opportunity because for a few months we were highly focused on Internet governance. Internet is much more than governance, though. And by taking part in this French Tech Tour, it will be a chance for us to meet investors, local entrepreneurs, all sorts of players, different players of the Internet who do, are not necessarily accustomed to taking part in ICANN meetings or meetings on Internet governance. Another important point is that whereas our program, the Fogans project is global. Unfortunately, well, right now, anyway, we don't have the means in-house to go to Japan and talk directly with Japanese uh, stakeholders in Japanese. And that's why we thought it would be interesting to take part in this program, the objective being to facilitate the fact of building relations with Japanese companies. There it goes. So, all of this to present Jérôme Dekia, the head of the French Tech Tour in Tokyo. Very important to Jean Emmanuel. Just reminded me that he was, or well, he is, in charge of Business France, which is the new name of what was formerly called UB France. So he is director, and he and his team welcomed us in Tokyo, and I was able to interview him this morning. So for this interview, paradoxically, it's in English, even though we're interviewing a French man, but we'll switch back to English. We'll switch back to English just to do this interview and then come back to Jean-Emmanuel and Tom for a uh, uh, more detailed explanation of what went on in Tokyo. Well, uh, Jérôme uh, Dequian, uh, thank you very much for uh, agreeing to take part uh, in this conversation and in our third uh, Frogans Technology Conference. Uh, we're talking to you on the morning uh, uh, of the 26th, uh, because uh, it would be very difficult for you to take part uh, at the actual scheduled time of our conference, but thank you very much again. So uh, you are the uh, head of the uh, division of uh, Ubi France, or, uh, as it was known until uh, not so long ago, uh, but now uh, Business France. Uh, so you're the head of the Japanese Bureau uh, of Business France. Um, we met you as part of the uh, promotional uh, activities uh, that we are engaged in uh, around the Frogan's uh, project. So we took part in the Frogan in the French Tech Tour 2014 in Japan. I was wondering, uh, before we, so that for the benefit of our, uh, our audience, uh, could you just give us uh, some details about yourself and your activities uh, as part of yeah. uh, the head of this division? Okay, thank you, Tom. Uh, yes, so I'm very glad, first of all, to uh, testify here um, about uh, what uh, happened here for uh, programs technology in Japan during the French Tech Tour last December. So uh, a few words to introduce myself. Um, I'm here in Japan for Business France, which is the new name of uh, UB France and uh, the Invest in France agency. So they merged on the 1st of January to create a business France, but we basically do the same thing, 
which is um, help uh, assist French companies to develop their business wherever we are posted. So for me, it's Japan since a bit uh, less than two years. Mm -hmm. uh, based in Tokyo, and I uh, head the IT and uh, innovation department here, which is a team of uh, six people between uh, our office in Tokyo and Osaka. So basically what we do is that we help uh, French IT companies to uh, uh, find partners, to evaluate their potential on the Japanese market, and uh, we then do the business matching together. Great. Um, and so, is this Business France uh, model uh, something that's replicated in all around the world? I mean, uh, is the, we were very interested to take part in the Japanese uh, uh, edition or the Asia uh, uh, edition of the French Tech Tour last year. Uh, but, and based on the success uh, and the really great contacts that we were able to make uh, during the week uh, that we spent with you, we are now uh, thinking about other uh, uh, Possibilities. I mean, are there other uh, areas around the world, other countries where we could uh, look at? Yeah. So basically, our network is present in about 80 countries. Mm -hmm. So uh, with with physical offices. So uh, we have uh, actually a presence pretty much in all the, the biggest markets for for French companies. And uh, you'll find in each of these office a uh, person in charge of IT. Uh, in each of them. Um, so for the different programs we uh, we organize, so we actually do this work of uh, helping French companies um, individually, but also on a collective basis. Mm. Uh, so we actually bring a kind of collective uh, mission format for a group of uh, IT companies. And uh, we actually started a program called uh, the French Tech Tour, uh, it's been now, I think, uh, eight years. Uh, it was created first in the US um, eight years ago, and then uh, it was uh, replicated uh, here in Japan uh, about uh, five years ago. And uh, now you have uh, the same program uh, in China and uh, in Canada. Mm. And uh, maybe you have one more uh, soon in another part of, uh, of the world, maybe in Israel well, soon. Uh, this year, but oh, we okay. have to confirm that. Well, we'll so basically, the, the concept of the French Tech Tour is pretty much the same in every country where we organize it. Mm. Um, first, it targets uh, French startups, uh, so in the IT sector, so we're really um, focusing on this kind of product, on this kind of profile, because we know um, that uh, this type of companies actually have uh, specific needs uh, that we cannot match uh, uh, with a regular, I would say, format uh, of a mission. Mm -hmm. And uh, also the type of uh, partnership and uh, the time to market is not the same mm -hmm. as uh, for other companies. So um, we decided actually to create the French Tech Tour uh, based on a few principles. Uh, first, to have a selection of the startups uh, we bring uh, to our markets. Um, beforehand, before the mission. Uh, so that's what happened actually uh, last uh, year uh, before the French Tech Tour. So it happened uh, actually last fall. Uh, all the companies applied uh, around the summertime and uh, we actually put in place a panel of experts here in Japan. Uh, it was uh, five experts uh, in different fields, all in the IT, uh, in the IT uh, field, but um, we had some uh, different profiles. We had one uh, Japanese VC, uh, we had um, two um, here French entrepreneurs in the IT sector uh, based in uh, Japan, who have their own business, who run their own business. Uh, we had one uh, major company, uh, Fujitsu, uh, was part of the selection process. Uh, as well, and of course, we also uh, looked at the profiles of the of the companies selected. So, for the Japanese uh, chapter, we had uh, about uh, 14 uh, companies who applied, and at the end, uh, seven came uh, mm. to Japan. Great. Well, it, it was interesting to hear you saying earlier that uh, we ha we might there might be a possibility to uh, uh, participate in a French tech tour in Israel uh, because uh, 
as you may recall, when we uh, made uh, the pitch of our uh, uh, technology uh, to the Orange Labs uh, people in, in Tokyo, uh, we made we emphasized the fact that our technology is a, is a multilingual technology, and we are very interested to go to areas of the world uh, which where where the multilingual addressing system will be particularly uh, interesting to the local uh, the local uh, community of internet users. So thank you very much uh, for that uh, uh, sort of overall presentation um, of uh, the origins of the French Tech Tour. Um, I mean, do you have uh, anything else to add about the actual Frogan's uh, project? I mean, or do you um, do you have any information on, on, or could you tell us a little bit about uh, what it was about our project that uh, the panel um, uh, that caught the panel's attention? Yeah, so we actually, um, well, I have to add that the French Tech Tour uh, here in Japan is actually a regional one. Uh, so it includes uh, Korea, South Korea, and Taiwan. Uh, so we actually submitted um, the application uh, files to uh, Korea as well, mm. uh, to another panel of experts for Korea. So actually, uh, the program technology was selected for Japan only, uh, because uh, I think there was here um, uh, an interest uh, we saw for this technology, um, mostly because here, well, of course, in Japan, um, in IT, it's the, I think, one of the two or three big uh, countries for innovation. So whatever brings, uh, I would say, a big innovation is uh, actually welcome here. Um, so that was the first big uh, trend, I think. The second is about the safety issue. So the fact that the Frogan's technology uh, um, has a big focus on, on safety and security of the content uh, is actually here uh, seen as a big asset uh, compared to the web. So I think that's, uh, that's very interesting for Japan uh, because they are very, um, I would say, focused on this aspect. Um, maybe because of their big uh, neighbors in the region. Um, and the third point also why uh, the technology was interesting uh, to, to bring to Japan is also because Japan is uh, very involved in uh, all the international standards mm. uh, in the IT industry. Um, so wherever you have uh, an international committee deciding about regulations in the IT system, you always see a jet. Japanese representative very active mm. and basically they are very keen uh, to know about the standards but also to influence them to be able to bring Japanese technologies so uh, whatever whichever technology who could bring a major change uh, in the game mm. uh, in the global game uh, Japan wants to know uh, wants uh, to be part of it and uh, to maybe partner with it. So that's why we thought it would be a good idea to, to bring the programs technology to Japan and see how it's welcomed uh, locally, um, having in, in mind all this uh, positive uh, size uh, Great. Uh, market. Well, uh, thank you very much, uh, Jérôme. That confirms very much uh, the uh, sort of feedback uh, uh, that we felt uh, from the meetings that we had during uh, the week uh, that we were in uh, Tokyo. Uh, many of the uh, people that we met, uh, whether they were from, uh, they were uh, registrars in the traditional domain name uh, business or uh, major actors in the uh, internet governance uh, field of ISOC uh, Japan, uh, the Asia Pacific Advanced Network or, or the JP Network Information Center, all these people um, tended to converge around this issue of uh, security. So that, and that uh, was exactly uh, what you were saying. Um, Jérôme, that's pretty much all that we have time for uh, today. Thank you very much again, especially for agreeing to give this uh, uh, call interview in English. Um, in a way, perhaps it seems crazy to give uh, 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 an interview in English for the, about the French tech tour, but uh, merci beaucoup. Um, and, uh, and last thing perhaps I should say is that thanks to the French tech tour to J Japan, we shall be uh, 
having the participation of another of one of the people that we met uh, in Tokyo, the representatives of Brights Consulting, uh, who will also be giving uh, an interview uh, presentation during the conference. So again, uh, thank you very much, and we hope to be in contact again sometime shortly in 2015. Good. Looking forward to it. Thank you, Tom. Thank you very much. Bye. Okay, bye. Right, thank you very much. We'll switch back to French, please. So, thank you for this uh, interview, Tom. And I can see you met several people. Uh, this uh, we realized during the interview, but can you tell us more about this, uh, one of you, Tom, maybe, about the type of encounters you were able to make during the French tech tour in Japan? Maybe also the type of reactions that you got, the, the feedback when you gave the explanations or made the demonstration of programs because you were able to do so. Well, I'll, I'll try and be quick because I'm told by Jean Manuel that we're already lagging behind. Well, in fact, we had two types of encounters in Japan. Essentially, we met players in the field of marketing and domain names, registrars, and uh, we made presentations to them. Uh, we met some bigger and smaller registrars. The bigger is GMO, who represents um, a significant part of the domain names market in Japan. And we also met smaller players who are more like small entrepreneurs. Every time we gave our pitch on the project, and every single time, I would say that you know, what we could feel, uh, and it was very specific to Japan, more so than we had felt elsewhere in other countries, is that the people really um, were interested and, and got prepared ahead of the meeting so that when we uh, arrived at the meeting, they had already read anything available on any uh, uh, topic that we were going to speak about, about op 3 s Therefore, there was a high standard of um, exchange with them about the opportunities that were possible with this. And as we'll see in a couple of minutes, we perhaps have identified a future um, FCR accounts administrator who will be um, speaking to you in a um, few minutes. And the other group of people is quite important, is uh, the Japanese players in the field of internet governance, who deal with these issues at um, national and international level as part of, I, can, I cannot say much more now, but like JP Information Center, Aesop, uh, 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 were very much impressed and we had many uh, exchanges with them. So we'll listen to the people from Bright Consulting and uh, the conclusion maybe, Tom, you'll tell us more about some of these um, aspects if you want to elaborate on them. Um, but first of all, we listen to um, a presentation by a company which is uh, very much interested in our um, fragrance technology. Michael uh, and uh, Yoshi, thank you very much for uh, agreeing to take part in this uh, conversation and uh, in uh, the third Frogans uh, Technology Conference. It's the first uh, uh, conference uh, of the year. Uh, and of a, uh, an exciting year for us, uh, we hope, uh, with the deployment uh, of uh, our Frogans technology and uh, the going on sale of uh, Frogans dresses uh, in uh, the coming months, uh, weeks and months. Um, so it's uh, great to have you here. Uh, just for the benefit of the audience, uh, I think uh, it's uh, important just to say that uh, uh, my colleague Jean Emmanuel, who should be down there somewhere uh, on the stage, uh, and I uh, were very pleased to uh, uh, take part in uh, the French Tech Tour 2014 uh, Asia uh, in Tokyo. 
Uh, and as part of that uh, tour, we were able to meet uh, several key actors of the uh, Japanese uh, internet ecosystem, including, of course, uh, Bright's Consulting. Um, and so, uh, and during the meeting that we uh, had together, we were able to discuss with you uh, about the uh, rollout of the uh, Frogans technology and various opportunities that will be created for um, uh, people like yourselves who are in the uh, registrar business, uh, but who might uh, see uh, new opportunities uh, with the Frogans technology, the for opportunities for the selling of Frogans addresses. Uh, so I would just like quickly, if that's okay, uh, to ask you to just give a quick uh, introduction of Bright's Consulting and of the kind of clients that you have. Uh, not a problem, Tom. Thank you for the introduction. This is Michael Fleming with Bright's Consulting speaking. Um, Bright's Consulting is a intellectual is an, an intellectual property consulting firm. Um, what we specialize in more than anything are is domain name consulting, um, trademark consulting, as well as even services that counteract um, counterfeit products. Um, what is very special about Bright's Consulting is that we offer all three of these, and we offer that we have expertise in all three of these areas. In normal circumstances, you would only have either domain name or only trademark. So that is where we have our strength. Um, the type of customers that we have are typically um, large, anywhere from large even to, me to medium um, brand name clients. But um, brand name clients of all kinds, but we, we don't offer services on a typically individual um, customer basis, but um, only to the to companies in general. Um, the type of needs that our clients have are what any brand clients require. They require protection, they require security, they require um, the, the expertise and that consulting in this ever-changing world of domain names, especially with the introduction of new GTLDs, you have a lot of technology that's being introduced and uh, revolutionary, re revolutionary technology such as Frogan's technology is something that offers a, a new and exciting idea for them. Great, thanks. Uh, Yoshi, do you have uh, anything to add? I mean, I remember that we had a, a, a very... Uh, uh, long uh, conversation with you and your colleagues uh, in Tokyo, and you were um, uh, quite taken, it seems, by some of the um, different uh, aspects of the Frogans technology. Could you, do, do you have anything that you would like to say about that? Yeah, um, hi, um, my name is Yoshi Murakami, but I've been in the domain of industry more than 10 years in Japan. And uh, yeah, I'm basically a domain name consultation, I'm doing the consultation here, but I'm also on a new GTD project. And we support 20 plus uh, brand here, the applicants for the new GTLDs. And when I actually met Tom and John Emmanuel in Tokyo, um, I was really attracted by the idea of programs program have that. Um, um, this is a whole new, like, um, like um, internet environment that Dot Frogans provide to the clients, and I was actually thinking if this kind of program could be provided to the Dot Brands, you know, uh, they all could have a, a malware kind of free uh, the websites or the internet, so. Um, yeah, I thought the total idea would work for everything, basically. That was the thing I really liked. Okay, great. Um, I seem to remember that uh, one of the... Uh, there are different aspects of the programs technology, obviously, uh, that interest um, different people that we talk to in the different countries that we visit uh, as part of the uh, promotion of this program. And in Japan, um, it seems that one of the issues that... Uh, people were most uh, interested in is this issue of security. Um, and uh, the Frogans technology uh, will, be, will include uh, security features uh, at various levels at the addressing, the resolution uh, of, of queries, uh, and in the protection of uh, users' uh, personal data. 
It seems, uh, as far as I remember, that this was an issue where you felt that uh, that there could be some interest uh, among your clients. Is that would, is that is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, have you had okay, I mean, Yoshi, um, Yoshi, Have you had the opportunity to discuss uh, the project with some of your clients? Yes, I actually did. Um, um, usually, talk to the clients uh, who are the brand, to the applicants, and sometimes not applicants, about who is dealing with the trademarks and domain names. So, uh, briefly mentioned about the programs to our seminar here to about 30 clients in Japan, all big names. And yeah, some of them were really, really interested in to have a new environment of, uh, I mean, security environment for the internet. And um, you probably hear some of the Japanese companies that hacked recently. And um, so many of them are really sensitive about it. And uh, they just started realizing that uh, from to this point, domain name was um, divided uh, into the countries like Japan has a Japan kind of domain names and the U.S. Uh, company has a U.S. domain name only for the U.S. market and the French companies had a, a French uh, website only for the French clients. But now it's globalized and no matter where you are and GTLD is coming, this is not CCTLD, so people just realize there's a borderless domain and really coming in. So uh, security is becoming a really big issue and has to deal with it all over the cloud, uh, all over the world, wherever they have users. Well, thank you very much for that. Uh, just as a, just to sort of remind you, the uh, this conference that we are organising um, is going to be an opportunity, uh, among other things, to discuss the opportunities. Um, uh, the practical uh, realities also of the uh, implementation of this project. Uh, just before we finish, um, uh, I wonder if you could just give us a few uh, words, uh, if you could tell us a little bit about the meeting that you are planning uh, at the next ICANN meeting uh, in Singapore. Uh, I understand that you will be bringing together some of your clients uh, to discuss various things, including the Frogans project. Yes, um, we will be offering a conference or a seminar. Uh, I'm sorry, can you hear me? Oh, sorry, my apologies, the sound dropped out. Um, yes, we will be offering a, sem uh, a seminar conference um, in ICANN, uh, Singapore, for our clients. In regards to the Frogans technology, what we're looking for is basically an overall introduction. We've already told them what a little bit about it, but hearing it directly from Frogans personally is what will be the, the strongest way to introduce them, this to them. You know, as soon as they hear it from directly from the source provider, it, 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 it provides a much stronger connection. And if we could have you know, a, an introduction as to what Frogans technology offers and then something centered on the idea of the type of security that it's providing, that would be a very good explanation for them. And especially um, how Frogans uh, looks to expand in the future. Um, right now, it, it obviously, it, with it just being introduced, um, how it will become more open for people in the future to use. Fantastic. Okay. Well, actually, during this conference, uh, we're going to be featuring a few demos uh, of uh, the uh, uh, the technology. Uh, that's just for a start, uh, uh, and we will be able, obviously, to uh, uh, show those to your clients, and it's going to be part of our promotions activities uh, in all the different uh, meetings that we hold uh, during this year. Um, so, well, I think that's all the time we have, uh, all that we have time for uh, right now. Uh, I would like to thank you uh, both very much for having taken part in this conversation and in our conference. And we very much look forward to seeing you uh, in a couple of weeks' time uh, in Singapore. Thank you very much. We th thank, you. thank you very much for your time. We look forward to thank seeing you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye.
Thank you for these uh, interviews that give us some background as to the way the technology is being perceived and what uh, is in the pipeline. Uh, it's true we took a bit more time than expected for this part, so I will leave the floor to Jean Manuel to give us his conclusion on this point before we move on to the demonstration and how we actually built a fragrance science. Thank you, Stefan. So like this, nobody will be listening to me because everybody wants to see the demo, so I'll make a long story short. Uh, we're lagging behind. I would have liked to tell you a few, for a few hours of what we learned in Japan from our contacts. Uh, we saw one of them, but as, like Tom said, we had many appointments. We met 12 organizations who uh, welcomed up us very warmly, and uh, we learned quite a lot. In particular, as we already knew, actually, but this means frogans. Frogans, and now we have a confirmation that this means open standard for the internet. Uh, if you can't read the last line, read the second one. And um, briefly, Japan was great, was superb. We gave many presentations. We already told you about this. I would just like to uh, say a little hello to Mr. Spike, who is our interpreter, who f followed us uh, throughout the uh, tech tour. And he was the one who taught us a few things about uh, Japan and the internet in Japan because he's a real mine of knowledge. And if he's watching us, uh, I would like to say hello to them, to him. But for, without going into too much detail, the first thing you learn when you go to Japan, even if you already know it and have studied it through the work of Benjamin and his team, is that writing in Japanese means being able to master three or four uh, different uh, uh, scripts or writing systems. The katakana and hiragana are used to write syllables that you can find uh, to uh, link up together the kanjis that uh, come from the Chinese characters. And with a clever mix of kanjis and hiragana, you have words and concepts. And for your information, when you learn Japanese, which I didn't know, in the first classes you learn about a thousand ganches. So that's just for a beginning. And if you're good enough, by the end of, uh, well, later on in your life, you know about 6,000, which is much less than the Chinese. But with all the co potential combinations, that will mean quite a lot of things to stuff into your little brain. And uh, in passing, it's a fascinating language. The katakanas um, is a script system or writing system that allows you to write concept for borrowed from uh, abroad, like Frogans, is written in katakanas. And also, uh, we also use the romaji uh, connection of uh, um, Roman characters. Uh, some people also use the Nike goal, but that's a different thing. And this has consequences on the internet and on mobile telephony, which is uh, obviously different from what we know here. And uh, this is why I uh, maybe I didn't look at this too much in detail, but I've seen very few URLs in Japan where people use uh, search engines that are inherited from a technology called the high mode, uh, which is still used by a good number of users in Japan. And uh, so in, where, instead of the, the bar where you key in your URL, you key in keywords that drive you directly to contents. And this technology was developed at the same time as what we had in Europe, that is, the WAP, the uh, mobile internet. Instead of this, they had the high mode. And it worked wonders in Japan because with this, some telephone operators rapidly delivered their mobile uh, internet offers and quite high performing.
and the email addresses were easily used because you could very easily send emails rather than as text to messages with these mobile phones that were connected to the mobile web. All this because it's difficult to use. Only the ASCII character set to write in Japanese. Mm, so I will not go into any further detail, but Yoshi uh, Murakami also said that security and private data have become a major concern in Japan, in particular for uh, end users who want to have guarantees when they use the web. And without into going into too much detail, you must have heard about uh, recently or less recently about the case of uh, hacking of major uh, Japanese players, in particular the giant uh, Sony company that got hacked uh, or, or its services got hacked. So all of this to say that Charm and myself um, arrived with a few demos and pictures and demos of the fragrance uh, project simply to say that the technology we say we repeat it is designed for international uses and this was exemplified in Japan when we presented uh, fragrance sites written in Japanese or uh, fragrance addresses written in Japanese and we also explained that the browser would be able to uh, be uh, sold across the world. This uh, generated interest and curiosity, and most of the players that we met are now keeping a close look on what we are doing, and we are delighted about this. If you want me to tell you about other things I've seen in Japan, of course I could. Um, I'm not saying that this is what I saw, uh, this is my own take, my own interpretation of how the internet works in Japan, but I'd be delighted to tell you more about this, and I suppose Tom has quite a lot uh, that he could tell you about. Now, for lack of time, maybe uh, Jean-Emmanuel and Tom, thank you very much. Uh, give them a round of applause.